Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today I'm going to be talking to you guys about 1% and 0.1% lows and why it's something that I may start to implement in my benchmarking videos. Now before I get started I just want to say that Gamers Nexus and Bitwit have made fantastic informative videos on this subject and I will be leaving a link to both of those videos down below because they probably do a much better job of explaining things than I ever could. So yesterday I asked you guys if this is something you'd like to see and a lot of you said yes but some of you also said no, so I won't be eliminating that minimum frame rate figure just yet. Instead, I'll be including both, because why not? For those of you who just want to see the simple minimum frame rate laid out on screen, you can. And for those of you who want to see the uh, sort of advanced statistics, the 1% and 0.1% lows on screen, you will be able to as well. So to understand 1% and 0.1% lows, you have to understand why minimum frame rates are deemed as quite inaccurate by some. So let's say you're playing a game for an hour. That can be any game you can think of. And let's say in that game, you're averaging 37 frames per second. A pretty good result, especially if you're using an older graphics card. So if you've benchmarked that game with fraps in the background as you've been playing, you may notice that the minimum may come out at something like 13 or 14 frames per second, which doesn't sound too great. However, that minimum may have only occurred once. If you're playing at an average of 37 frames per second and the game has dropped to 13 once, it doesn't hinder your overall gameplay experience and I certainly wouldn't deem it unplayable. And that's where 1% and 0.1% lows come in. So what these essentially do is measure the frame time. Let's say that each individual frame is made up of a certain amount of on-screen time in milliseconds, which they are. So you've got one frame, two frame, three frame, four frame, each individually popping up on your screen one after the other for that one hour gameplay period. Now between each individual frame, it's always good to have a consistent amount of frame time between them. Let's say frame one's on screen for 16 milliseconds, frame two is on screen for 16 milliseconds, frame three is on screen for 16 milliseconds, and so on and so forth. That's gonna give you a pretty consistent gameplay experience. However, let's say on another PC, you're getting a better average with the same game at 40 frames per second, but your frame times are more inconsistent. Let's say frame one is on screen for 16 milliseconds, frame two is also on screen for 16 milliseconds, but frame three is on screen for a whole 70 milliseconds, and then it drops back down to 16 on frame four. Now, where that frame time shoots up and the frame is on screen for longer, you're going to notice that, and that's how stutter comes about. Just because you're getting a better average result with one piece of hardware doesn't mean it's a better gameplay experience, because if your frame times are worse, that may lead to a worse gameplay experience. And this is where those 1% and 0.1% lows come in. The 1% is the lowest 1% of all the frames averaged, and the 0.1% is the lowest 0.1% of all the frames averaged as well. The bigger the gap between the 0.1, the 1% and the average frame rate means that you're more likely to see stutter than if those three figures were closer together. Now, it does seem complicated, I know, and it took me a couple of days to get my head around it, but in the long run, it definitely depicts a more accurate result of what you can expect from certain hardware. And I feel that that's more important, especially with older stuff, because you may get a graphics card that seems like it averages 30 frames per second on screen most of the time, but in actuality, sure you're getting an average of 30 frames per second, but that may be accompanied by a ton of stutter as well, which is what the difference between the 0.1% and 1% frame times aim to measure. So I hope that clears things up a little bit. As I said, I will be leaving a link down to those other videos below, as well as implementing both 1%, 0.1% and minimum frame rates from now on, so that if you guys don't quite get it, I will uh, be keeping the old way of doing things on screen too. So thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, leave a dislike if you didn't, I guess, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll see you all in the next one.